Hey there, it's Beth from ScrappingWonders.com and I am up with my Calico Collage Design Team project. I have two more coming to you this month and I know it's late in the month for me, but this project gave me a run for my money. So I'm going to tell you first what happened. First, what I did here is I created a B6 Traveler's Notebook insert, which is basically 5x7. And for my middle page, this is actually vellum Bristol paper that I printed out one of Cal Calico Collage's um, cards that came in the kit that um, I stretched it out. Well, not stretched it, but I enlarged it and I printed it B6 size on vellum Bristol. Now, in hindsight, if I was thinking, I would have cut down a piece of mixed media paper. Uh, but surprisingly, this paper held up pretty pretty well the other thing I did here is I sprayed it with some fixative spray because I printed it on my inkjet paper and once you get inkjet paper wet um, the ink moves obviously because it's inkjet it's not permanent like when you print with laser so I sprayed it with a fixative spray but in hindsight I probably should have given it a couple of coats I only gave it one coat and it worked for the most part but I definitely needed to throw some clear gesso on it. So that's what you see me doing here. And I did two layers of clear gesso using my favorite clear gesso, which is the Prima Fiber Arts clear gesso, just because it's really smooth gesso and um, it definitely protects my work. So I don't know. I don't know what else to say about gesso. But <laughs> the clear gesso is definitely my favorite. I have used the Dina Wakely gesso, clear gesso, and it's okay, but it's not as smooth as the Prima one. And the Liquitex Professional clear gesso has got a very, very gritty um, to the touch. And so I hate that one and I don't use it. Now, what I did was I fussy cut out all of these beautiful, beautiful mermaid things um, from the collage sheet. I had printed them on vellum. Now this is a trial for me. I have never done this before. I really wasn't quite sure how well this was going to turn out. But I printed this collage sheet on vellum and I sprayed it as well with the fixative spray. Surprisingly, um, even though I only did one coat, the ink did not run as much as I thought it was going to. But I had one heck of a time getting this vellum stuck with the matte medium. I do wish I had used my liquid matte medium as opposed to the thicker matte medium. And um, probably will do this technique again with the vellum. But I think next time I will try adhering everything with Mod Podge instead of matte medium and see how it goes. Now, because of the matte medium, you could kind of see like all of the strengths of where I put the matte medium down. So I wanted to even out the coat, coat more, more. So I put a layer of clear gesso over all of this. Um, and it wasn't because I needed it. It was more because I wanted it to look more even instead of seeing all of these streaks of the matte medium. And that is why I added the clear gesso. The next step for me and I'm telling you, I fought with this. I like it, but I don't like it. And I don't know what it is that I don't like about it. I feel like it's kind of unfinished and you'll see what I mean towards the end. Um, I think I would have liked it more if I had left it alone right here and just added color with say my pit pins instead of doing what you see me do next, which is adding acrylic paint. The acrylic paint is lovely don't get me wrong but I think I would have been happier if I had just added some shading with my big brush pit pens that you have seen me use in previous videos and I think that would have made me super super happy now you can see I only grab a little bit of this acrylic paint and then I water it down a ton um, and even watering it down it still was just it took over I feel that the paint took over the project, but I felt like I needed some color. And maybe if even with the color, I only went up as high as you see me there, but no, I went all the way. I went all in with this paint. And um, 
you're gonna see in the close-up photos that I tried to tone it down some with another paint and that still didn't work and in the end I'm okay you know art journaling is a process and it's a learning technique I will say what you can take away from this video is that you can print on vellum and you can collage the sheets you can print out a sheet um, and then use it as an insert page so with that I'm super happy with the techniques that I've learned and um, have accomplished with this project I'm just not happy with the outcome of the project thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to check out Calico Collage and her amazing products in her Etsy shop I will leave a link below in the description box I hope this inspired you to give some techniques a try bye